168. Your grace is given me. I claim it now. God speaks to us. Shall we not speak to Him? He is not distant. He makes no attempt to hide from us. We try to hide from Him and suffer from deception. He remains entirely accessible. He loves His Son. There is no certainty but this. Yet this suffices. He will love his son forever. When his mind remains asleep, he loves him still. And when his mind awakes, he loves him with a never changing love. If you but knew the meaning of his love, hope and despair would be impossible for hope would be forever satisfied, despair of any kind unthinkable. His grace his answer is to all despair, for in it lies remembrance of his love. Would he not gladly give the means by which his will is recognized? His grace is yours by your acknowledgement and memory of him awakens in the mind which asks the means of him whereby its sleep is done. Today we ask of God the gift he has most carefully preserved within our hearts, waiting to be acknowledged. This the gift by which God leans to us and lifts us up, taking salvation's final step himself. All steps but this we learn, instructed by his voice. But finally he comes himself and takes us in his arms and sweeps away the cobwebs of our sleep. His gift of grace is more than just an answer. It restores all memories the sleeping mind forgot, all certainty of what love's meaning is. God loves his son. Request him now to give the means by which this world will disappear, and vision first will come, with knowledge but an instant later. For in grace you see a light that covers all the world in love, and watch fear disappear from every face as hearts rise up and claim the light as theirs. What now remains that heaven be delayed an instant longer? What remains undone when your forgiveness rests on everything? It is a new and holy day today, for we receive what has been given us. Our faith lies in the giver, not our own acceptance. We acknowledge our mistakes, but he to whom all error is unknown is yet the one who answers our mistakes by giving us the means to lay them down and rise to him in gratitude and love. And he descends to meet us as we come to him, for what he has prepared for us he gives and we receive. Such is his will because he loves his son. To him we pray today, returning but the words he gave to us through his own voice, his word, his love. Your grace is given me, I claim it now. Father, I come to you, and you will come to me who asks, I am the son you love.